I'm going to mine the tunnel first and dig the tunnel. Then I'll uh, come back and scoop up all the juicy goodies. See? Goodies. It's weird that they're struggling. You'd think that their stuff would sell a lot more. Well, it has sold. They're like the de facto standard now. Probably some executive asshat running things into the ground like an idiot. Karma? Is that their new... Is that a competitor, or is that their, just their new line of stuff? What, seriously? Chris Roberts bought out, uh, or bought the Crytek engine? I thought that was an Ubisoft thing. Ah. Wow. So they're... That's cool. They're churning out a drone that shoots video at 4K. <laughs> you know, the... This just shows what kind of limited mind I really possess. The very first thing I imagine our advanced society is going to do with drones that can shoot 4K video is... Increase the incidence of peeping toms and significantly increase sales of window shades and curtains. The textiles industry has to just be thrilled at the prospect. Wow. Okay, so, right, they, they hired most of the team that made Crytek. They didn't get the name for that particular engine, but... Shit. Diamond! Yay! Ooh, two veins of it. Have I got any fortune enchantments? I do not. <laughs> you really think a bit of noise is going to stop somebody who thinks he can get a shot of his next-door neighbor? <clears throat> Hi, Max. Nice. What you doing, Lexi? Why don't you stick your head in your air in the air instead of your ass? Meaning, why doesn't she put her head in the air instead of putting her ass in the air? You can reach your head better if you stand up. <laughs> Little brat. <clears throat> <laughs> you really? You can buy special shotgun rounds for drones? That's, that is so American. <laughs> Can't stand these newfangled robots with flying machines that regular Joe can buy and fly all over the place. Take pictures of my daughter. Get me shotguns, Dave. Sorry. Bubba, Bo, Bob, Jed, Henry, Steve. I'm going to save this. So I can try to get some enchantments and come back. You don't have to register drones. <clears throat> that's pretty fucking stupid anyway. I did see they're building, uh, like, police are doing this, uh, they're doing testing with drones that can throw nets to capture other drones. It's, it's just so stupid. The minute something cool emerges... People are in such a rush to control it. Seriously, the FAA mandates registration of drones. 
like the little tiny quadcopters that people fly by remote. That's fucking nuts. That is ridiculously overbearing. I don't agree with that at all. Because that, that just completely destroys it as a hobby. That's pretty impressive. Eagles are neat. Oh yeah, that's really neat. But... Yeah, that's, it's just a shame. Hey, more diamond. It just has such a potential to be an amazing hobby, and they're... I guess it just takes stupid people to ruin it, like you said. Right. Causing crashes and that sort of shit. Damn it! Idiots ruin everything cool. Having a drone would have been so handy looking for our lost cat a couple of years ago. We could have, like, covered our entire neighborhood and get to places we couldn't reach. You seriously have to register with the fucking FAA now? It's nuts. I mean, that's not cheap, is it? That's got to cost a few hundred bucks. Nothing the FAA does is inexpensive. Now it's ridiculous. Now the damn things are only going to be built for fucking military purposes. <laughs> Dumb. Because the average person isn't going to jump through those hoops and officially register their little fucking toy just so they can play with it in their backyard. Do you know that's what most people want to do? Yeah, those I, I <clears throat> that's a good example, Radon. I remember seeing those things and I actually totally would have got one except uh I'm a bit over the weight limit <clears throat> by a lot. But then I started suddenly reading and it, this happened almost overnight that oh no, 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 those have horrible battery problems and they're so unsafe and dangerous and and then suddenly come cities banning them. The minute somebody... The minute large groups of people start banning things like that, you know they're just trying to kill the fun. Like, oh, something neat. Can't let them play with that. <clears throat> oh. They actually did have battery problems? <laughs> Oops. I'd still love to have a Segway, but they're so goddamn expensive. And those are banned in lots of places, too. A bunch of bullshit. Well, I think what's so stupid about it, if they're going to all that trouble of making you register drones in the first place, then what's the big fucking deal with Amazon using drones to ship? I remember they were they were talking about doing that like widespread and like lots of opposition to that mysteriously turned up. Of course it could be the shipping companies helping to lobby that, but like cities were threatening to no no, we'll ban that. You can't do that. Assholes. Man, the UK has gone nanny state. That, that that place is just nuts now. Ooh, lapis. Lots of lapis. <clears throat> 
for the, the for the little sub hundred dollar quad copter remote control things. It, it costs eight hundred to a thousand pounds to re- do a course and register it. Seriously. That's just fucking elitism. Make it so expensive and ridiculous that only the wealthy can afford to own or operate them. Ugh. That's so stupid. Oh, okay. Well, that's less fun to get my head all steamed up about. What the hell? Oh. I think that's a silverfish. That was apparently something else. Oh, coal. <laughs> well then. I think drone tech is just so amazing. Even just, you know, ignoring the fact that uh, our military is using them to carpet bomb people. Eh. It's an awkward turn of events, but, you know. Just the, the commercial applications are amazing. Could do surveying without actually having to hit the ground. Same day courier service without increasing traffic. <clears throat> We're good at ideas. We're not good at construction anymore, you know. <laughs> you okay, Lex? Heard a wicked rough sneeze there. What are you doing, cat? Where are you? There you are. Oh, you're getting into something. That's why you sneezed. <laughs> Nonchalantly rubs a the desk. Like, no, I'm not doing anything. Guess I'll mine to this cave and then uh, block it back off and come back. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Are you sure it's not just overlapping territory where both can be there? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised to hear it's, you know, literally what you're describing. <clears throat> That's just weird. So then for that uh, five or ten feet, then, you're literally standing in nobody, in not a country, just unclaimed territory, or neutral zone. Dark sounding. <laughs> Some random wanker shows up, plants a flag, calls it... Uh, Dickheadville or something. <laughs> you have to have permission to, to, you know, come into my borders. Of course, a giant army would probably make quick work of that. It's a funny thought, shut up. Wow, so I guess this cave is above me. Oh no, there it is. Hello, cave. Hello, water. Right, found the cave. <clears throat> really? Greenpeace was stupid enough to try that. Oh, those dumb fucking people. Greenpeace is like an example of what and how not to do activism.
They're kind of like PETA. Sealand! You know, there is a, a... What is it called? Lieberland? Or Liberland? It's like between Croatia and some other country. There's this... Like... There's, there, there's this little tiny slice of, of land that um, the two countries won't claim, even though both of them have a legal right, a legal claim on them. Because if they claim that land, they, because of some treaty or something between the two countries, whoever claims that land has to give up some other claim. And they don't want to. Because it's a, you know, worthless piece of dirt. And these, these stupid fucking idiots decided, hey, we're going to go create our libertarian utopia on that land. Because, hey, neither country wants it. And, and the trouble is, they're discovering that Croatia still polices it. And the side effect of both countries having legal claim is that both countries have the legal right to kick people off that aren't members of, you know, citizens of either of those countries. And they do! They've been, like, chased off a dozen times, and they keep coming back. Probably not a dozen times, but they've been arrested more than once. And, you know, the, it's usually the Croatians that spot them, and, and they just deport them. And then the dumb shits come back. They're still convinced that they've got their libertarian paradise, and they've, uh, you know, they'll just keep being annoying enough that eventually the government will just go, Fine, you're a country. Which is totally not how it works. <sighs> They're hilarious people, though. I mean, it's just... You, you, you so rarely get to see such pure stupid at play. Hey, neat, two seams of iron. Yeah, exactly. Like, all right, you can be a country. We've declared war and we're going to come take your land. Here's a tank. We win. A tank. Yeah, exactly. It's not like the fucking United Nations is going to suddenly recognize them. Like, you're a bunch of libertarian cranks that showed up uninvited. Clash with armed, you know, with police every chance you get, and, you know, fuck you, you're not a country. Cute little constitution, I can write on a computer too. <laughs> RAF bent water, <laughs> nice. These are all Walters, right? But the bent, the bent because we want them to be bent, Get away, and don't make fun of it. We have tanks, you don't. Piss off. <laughs> yeah, I kind of thought that's what that meant. Really? I thought I butchered that. Can I help you, Lexi? Oh! Come here. What's the matter? I didn't expect her to meow at me and answer. Come here. What's the matter? Come on. Okay. Come here, baby. <laughs> I didn't expect that. She was trying to dig into the... Um, there's some drawers behind the green screen, and she wanted into one of them, but having was having trouble reaching it, I guess. There you go. So I lift up the green screen, and I see her. She just looks at me like, what? I didn't do nothing. 
like, oh, can I help you? She just meowed. It was very cute. Like, yes, you can put me in there. Why are you so enamored with those shelves? Come here, babe. Do your thing. There you go. 